I've always been interested in anthropology as a whole. I do have a great interest in the cultural aspect of the discipline, but archaeology has always been extremely intriguing for me, digging into the past. And as an anthropologist, I am studying zoo archaeology, which means I'm an archaeologist that specializes in um, identifying faunal remains from archaeological sites, animal bones. I'm working on coastal sites, so primarily we are finding a lot of fish remains. That is really useful for uh, recreating um, past environments, for understanding early subsidence patterns, what people ate, um, what, they, what they caught, and um, for answering a lot of other questions that may not seem obvious, like um, how overfishing may have affected fish populations throughout time. Do archaeologists need reference collection in order to identify the old bones? So they have a collection of modern day contemporary bones to analyze and compare with the archaeological specimens in order to make good identifications. I have not been able to find a good reference collection for black sea fish. And since this is my area of interest, I created my own. These are current day food fishes that I'm collecting for my reference collection. Here I have a sea bream, which is a nice hardy fish and easy to identify if it comes up in an archaeological site. These vertebrae are very big compared to other fish that I have been dealing with, such as the anchovy. Vertebrae often remain in the archaeological record and shows you a difference in size between the, the anchovy and the sea bream. In the New Media Lab, I am working on digitizing a reference collection of animal remains. And I'm specializing in fish, so my digital collection is on fish bones. Mm -hmm. And also I'm including shells, so I have mollusks as well. I started off with a WordPress site featuring the um, bone collection as well as the fish before I processed them with their clothes on and some other tidbits that I thought were interesting. But I decided that Omeka, another program, which is actually for virtual museums, fit my work better. So I'm in the process of converting to Omeka so I can have a digital museum of bones. And it's just a better site for this kind of project. I'm playing with having a collection and various exhibits, which will be chapters of my dissertation someday, hopefully. Currently, right now, I have an exhibition on the Hamsi, the Black Sea anchovy, and how it's so important to Black Sea culture, especially in Sinop, Turkey, and how it may be affected by climate change. So this is some cultural questions I'm asking right now, and I have decided to make a digital exhibition on it. And eventually this will have my bone collection as well, and 3D scans. Not only do I have uh, one, two-dimensional images of of bones. I want to have 3D models and I think that would be the most beneficial digital collection for zoo archaeologists around the world. So that's something I'm working towards and there's a great team here who are supporting me and trying to figure out how that will play into my Omeka site. And this is an ongoing process. I hope to go to Romania next. I've been working in Bulgaria and Turkey collecting specimens and I want to circle the Black Sea to find everyday popular food fishes from contemporary fish markets to put in my collection so I can identify them and then make them digital so that way zoo archaeologists around the world can make use of it as well.